Philadelphia Zoo, welcome to America's first zoo. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and today I'm visiting the Philadelphia Zoo. This is the first actual zoo in the United States. Opened in July 1st, 1874. That's even before the National Zoo down in Washington, D.C. I'm excited to be here. It's supposed to be a nice day. Uh, see, I'm wearing my Tom's Road Trip and hat because I am trying to conserve money. So I will not be buying an actual hat here. I'm forgoing hats for the next couple days till I get a little bit more money. So uh, I'm gonna show you the map and we're gonna get started right away. All right, so this is the zoo map. Doesn't look like a large property, but looks can be deceiving. All right, past bag check to the left is Philadelphia Zoo Shop. This is their pricing. All right, so zoo is cashless, as a lot of other places I've been to are going cashless. So if you need to get a card, you enter your cash in here and it prints out a card for you. You can use that card to purchase your tickets and your parking. Parking was $17. All right, just past that, we got where you actually enter, scan your tickets. This is pretty good, sunny day guarantee. All right, first animal we got up, we got black and white rough lemur. Got several in there having breakfast. Oh yeah, these guys are so fuzzy. So fuzzy. Hi, that's me, Over here. You ready, Callie? No. Let's go see another animal. Yes, they're all eating. You have to put in your yard. Oh, I don't want to do that. Over here. I bet then we got this nice flower garden. This would be perfect for butterflies. Although I don't see any butterflies at the moment. Doesn't mean they're not there. The big stone elephant statues. There's a treetop trail. Goes all around. Animals can move, move freely, I'm assuming is what it means. These are animals that can be out. This cool treetop trail. Oh wow, I absolutely love this fountain. This is fancy. Right, right across that gorgeous fountain, we got this building gonna go inside. Got the Rare Animal Conservation Center. Lots of information on the walls. Got a naked mole rat. See all the different tubes and tunnels. Oh, you see some right here. So I just got off the phone. Yes, they go all throughout the tunnels. Got a range of the naked mole rat. Oh, we got an eclectus parrot. Probably mispronounced it. These are pretty birds. So we got Pied Tamarin. Oh, there we go. They're up top. There we go. There we go. And with them, you got a two-toed sloth. Yeah, you see the two-toed sloth 
all up there sleeping. Ooh, they're quick. Ooh, they are fast. Very, very fast. Yeah, Joffrey's marmoset. Did you see the workers? Yeah, one of the workers in there cleaning. But there is still one in here. They're really cute little critters. You see they got all sorts of stuff to climb on. Little box to be in. Also in here with the prehensile tailed porcupine. And here's the porcupine. That is awesome. Except you got a golden lion tamarin. Oh, I love these cute fuzzy critters. There we go. There it is. So evidently, all the animals have access to go up above. Hey, where are my protectors? So I'm just briefly. We got blue-eyed black lemur. All right, so I do not see him in here. So they're probably up above. So this is right here at the beginning, so I will definitely come back. We got red cap Mag and Bay. This is their habitat. It does say I'm outside exploring Z360 treetop trail. Got Rodriguez fruit bat. These are the big bats. Well, one of the bigger fruit bats. Just hanging out. Got a Franco Slinger. Their habitat so still in the back, so I will check back here later. Also, the second habitat for the Franco's Languer. We've got Pied Tamarin. And they're getting habitat already. Setting up food. And they are cute too. There we got another two toed sloth. Sloth lounging in its basket. All right, we got Bolivian Grey Titi Monkey. And then whether you got a giant elephant shrew. See a giant elephant shrew running all around. Oh, that's cute. All right, so I'm looking for the uh, TT monkey. Not seeing the TT monkey. So I will check back a little bit later. All right, right outside the building, you got Impala Espresso Bar. The like new caffeine fix. Yeah, Next up, you got Philly Pretzel Factory. That's what you got. Here we go. One of the animals out here. Very nice. Got a little 
black cup had in its mouth. It may look like it had a huge nose. Yes, this track goes all around. Gives the animals a little bit more space to be outside where they're still safe. My wild backyard. Okay. Show any more of the flowers. So in addition to butterflies, you can have bumblebees, which are critical for pollination. Got pucker up. This is their menu. Alright, so this is good. Shows you the mini map and the arrows putting different animals. See more of the animals. Just kind of laying down, relaxing. Alright, we got the Outback Outpost. We got Red Kangaroo. Also got emu. Right, I do see a couple of emu in here. You got one here, another one over here. So it looks like the kangaroo are inside the building still. Oh yeah, I'll check back a little bit later. You know I always do a rewalk. But the kangaroo will be out then. We got Wild Works. Pretty sure this is an additional charge. Oh, I came back. We got a Wild Works. See kangaroo out. Another one inside. Do you like the kangaroo? I'm not sure if it wants to come outside or not. Alright, we got meerkat. So we got the meerkat maze, so the meerkats can go all around. Which is generally where they are. Do they dig different burrows? It's a small mammal house is not open at the moment. Not sure when this will be open. So the meerkats have a habitat inside the building. Can't see it though. This is interesting. Solitude. Well, the fact that this building still remains, or this once house still remains, is amazing. So you can see, protecting our birds, some of the birds that are more susceptible to the avian flu are off habitat temporarily. Alright, we got Caribbean Flamingo. More information on the Caribbean Flamingo. One of my favorite types of birds. I've gotten to hand feed these guys a couple times. Not here, but at other locations. You can stick your head all in the water too. So when the zoo feeds them, they throw the pellets in the water, and that is what the they use as their food. Very nice. 
We got some Adamba tortoise. This is one portion of their habitat. And it's their other habitat where they both are located. I do enjoy the tortoises. Alright, so these habitats typically hold some of their bird species that are temporarily removed due to the avian flu risk. So for the time being, these habitats are empty. Got a trumpeter swan. How you doing? It making its trumpeting sound earlier. Oh, 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 did you see the other one? There we go, there we go. He's hit by the wall. Hi, birds. The trumpeters want to have access to this other habitat also. Plenty of water to be in. Now, so if they want to be on the dry area, they have plenty of space there as well. Got the little, little walkway or swimway right through the wall here. All right, this is another habitat that is currently unoccupied as it is a bird habitat. My guess is that they would normally have parrots here. I was at the flamingos and I kind of went down another path. So I'm gonna head back towards the flamingos to bear country. All right, we got bear country. We got Indian bear. Yeah, Indian bear's got a nice size habitat. So this is the lower area. Do you not see the Indian bear in this location? So maybe when I move around, I'll see him. All right, around the corner from the bear habitat or restroom locations. There you go, the bear statue. Now oh, this is nice. We got Penguin Point. We got Humboldt Penguin. Penguins are temporarily off habitat for their protection. More information about the Humboldt penguin. Normally you'd be able to come inside this area on the other side of that fence and get good views of them. Alright, so up the path right next to Penguin Point you see another area for the for the bear. Next up they got Sloth Bear. The sloth Bear has a good sized habitat. So I'm not seeing the Sloth Bear out just yet. But it's still early. Oh the penguins! There are penguins over there! And we'll check a little bit later. Oh this is nice. Got the bears playing. So all the bears have access to go inside. And it's their choice whether or not they want to be out. All right, so don't get discouraged if you come to a zoo and you don't see the animal right away, especially when the zoo first opens. Because a lot of times the animals are still sleeping and they will be out possibly later on. So it's always important to return to a habitat a little bit later in the day. All right, we got plain zebra. Hi Zebra! You know, I didn't want this to be the first zebra I showed you because, you know... <laughs> and then with the plain zebra you got southern white rhinoceros. There we go. Southern white rhinoceros. 
These animals have a good sized habitat. Oh, zebra's itching. Give himself a good scratch. All right, know my stripes. We got four zebras and the rhino named Tony. All right, we got giraffe. We got three giraffe. Hold on, guys. You guys want to take a picture of the giraffe? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> hey guys, come here. And there's the third one. Hold on guys, come here. Come here real quick. Marijuana. Come on. Well, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, have a, yeah take a break. Have a break. Have a break. I do have giraffe feeding. So the giraffes eat acacia. It's a lot healthier than the romaine lettuce typically zoos feed animals. Got little mini giraffes. Right okay, across the giraffe, you got red river hog. There we go. Cute little piggies. Or hog, I'm sorry. That's wild though. They're not they're not like wild. A couple more red river hogs over here. Now we got Ancoli Watusi cattle. And all three of the Watusi cattle are right up in here. It's like they are munching on some hay. There's another animal in here. Yeah. Huge pita fish is nutritious. So the animals, hippopotamus dung helps out. We've got two of the hippopotamus in here. The one there and the other one there. And of course, you got dry area also. Alright, so showing the arrows and the map again. I'm right up by the hippopotamus. We're gonna check out Water is Life, Raptor Ridge, and work our way around. So lots to see. All right, Water is Life, Otter Falls, and Red Panda Pass. Be right through here. This is just on the left hand side, right past the hippopotamus. All right, Red Panda. This came out, and there he goes again. So red pandas does have a nice size habitat, a lot of space. There we go, yeah, red pandas out again. I do, they're lindo. Do you want it? It's the second side. Same habitat. Moving all around. We be love the nightlife. Up in a tree. Oh, these are such cute animals. So there's a bridge connecting to another habitat. Of course, the bridge is currently blocked off, so I do not think there's another red panda in here. If it is, it's just in the back. So we have a couple birds here. Kimnix Trakabin, Kibbutz Trakabin, Flying Sterner Ducks, and Golden Pheasant. Oh, Golden Pheasant is beautiful. Be nice to me. I'm nice to him. How is he scratching his neck? Chase. He just he just pulled his leg up scratching. Is that ducks? They're dogs. Ducks can breathe on the water. Ducks can breathe on the water. 
giant otter. That's an otter. Awful. Get the two giant otters right up close. Look at all the space they got. Look at this little face. Over here. You're cute though. I think he's kind of swimming. Have their nap. That's a beaver! This number one. Underwater acrobat. I love otters. It's on the water habitat area. Much more fun to see them playing in the water. It's additional habitat, the giant otter. It's their water park. Looks like they got the slide. Utterly unique. Come on, Juliet. That's the four otters they've got. Generations of otters. Yeah, it worked out really yeah, I don't know how. otter statue. The way all the water just connects. Otters enjoy water. I don't know that they do. Yeah, they're built for it. You got the web feet and the big tail. That thing's pretty cool. So water flows down. Rains down and it catches the water and starts all over again. Good Habitat Hollow Nature Trail. Oh, look at this beautiful mural by Katie Trainer. Protect and serve. Kids can get inside and play like they're a turtle, I guess. There's a lot more than a And you got a real turtle. There's a cute little Easter oh, box turtle. Yeah, so her name is Josephine. So, uh, she is fully grown. That's as big as she's going to get. Oh, wow. Yep. She's here right there in the back. Josephine. Yep. She's about 30 or 40 years old. Oh. Dang, Josephine. Yeah. So this is just an area for the kids to explore. Teach kids about nature. Be resourceful. Sly movements. Alright, the other side of Habitat Hollow, you got watering hole beer garden. Don't let the beer garden fool you, they got food here also. We've got the kitty train. There's the kitty train. Goes around the circle. Perfect for the little ones. Got building materials. Got a good photo op. Like you're a baby bird in a nest. Got room and board. Yeah, a lot of animals would use stuff like this. Got senses for survival. What's that smell? Listen up. Look around. Get moving. Buried viewpoints. So often, you will see or possibly see wild animals or birds, squirrels, insects, pretty much anywhere you are. When the weather's nice, of course. 
Back home, I got lots and lots of lizards and squirrelies. All right, so I have backtracked to this path. I'm gonna continue working my way around. Got a dairy barn. They got ice cream in here, just as the name suggests. You know, different novelties. I purchased myself a Snickers ice cream bar. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Another temporarily empty bird habitat. I'm guessing a barn owl or something similar to that would be over here. Yes, yeah, so this is what would have been in that habitat. Project Green Light. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, so this is another temporarily empty bird habitat. This is where the American bald eagle would be. You want to keep the animals safe. All right, we got cheetah. It speeds up to 70 miles per hour. Wow. Waiting their turn. All right, it says the cheetah habitat. Lots of space for the kitty cats. The cheetah's up on the roof. Look at that. Get a better look at everybody. Man, just had a big yawn. Wow. Gorgeous cat. Alright, we got maned wolf. Chiquita. Maine wolf habitat. Not a wolf. Oh, there to go. Wolf, he came out. Just came out. Yeah, look at that. Just came out. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a beautiful animal. It's like a really tall fox. It looks like a really tall fox. Very nice. We got a crested caracara. <laughs> this is that bird's habitat. It is also temporarily in the back, so not available either. Got a black headed spider monkey. A little more information about them. Alright, Spider Monkey has a lot of space and I see their doorway is open. The inside. Oh, but they're all over here. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. A bunch of leaves on its butt. Moving on over. <laughs> really like this mosaic tile. Right, so I'm passing by the watering hole. Going along this path now. And we still got some stuff to see. Up where I'm at, up near the top. We still got some big cats. So, do you see a lot of remnants from things of the past? So, there's no information on what this used to be. So, if you're from this area and you've been here in the past 
and this was being used, leave a comment down below. I do got restroom locations. Another really nice mural. Got a couple food trucks. That's what Prest has. And Chicken Kitchen. All right, so I'm following the path. See right where I'm at. Heading up towards the front. Wow, this is fantastic. I have never seen a carousel like this before. This is likely a one of a kind. We got snakes, crocodile, all sorts of different animals. That would be the most aesthetically pleasing carousel I've ever seen. All right, for along the path, kind of Tiger Terrace. This appears to be their largest eatery. Now we got Big Cat Falls. What is that tree trunk doing here? It's the tree trunk they're talking about. Right in the center. All right, so African Lion. You see the African lion habitat, and I see one of the lions. All right, next to the ball. Oh yeah, look at that. Big kitty cat taking a nap. Looks very comfortable. There we go. Talk about lying around. And we got the female lion, looks like I'm above. Above. All sprawled out. Get another view of the male lion. As soon as I zoom in. There we go. Very nice. It's one cool cat. There we go, it takes a village. That's pretty cool. Cats take turns exploring different outdoor habitats. The African lion are in here right now. We also got the emerald leopard, jaguar, a mer tiger, and a snow leopard. Did you hear that? It's incredible what's just outside my tent. Hey, I'm Jessica, and I'm from Philadelphia. Happy to meet you. This is my video blog from my safari to Kenya. I really can't sleep. There's just too many things to see and do. There's so many awesome animals that come out at night. I'm sleeping under the stars in the biggest bedroom in the world. Come on, man. Everything is so close. You could almost touch them, but I wouldn't. 
cool animals are. Actually, our guide talks on his radio with other guys in the area looking for interesting things. See, look, you see, he spotted a leopard up in the tree from just his tail hanging down. I never would have seen that. Shoots and ladders. So yeah, the cats can move around to the different habitats. Of course, it's controlled. Right, cats will be cats. All right, next up, we got a snow leopard. So this habitat looked like it was empty, but someone pointed out that the snow leopard is in the back. Well, oh, actually, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Sorry. Here we go. There's a snow leopard. Trying to get you a better view. Yeah, so snow leopard's right in the back. Kind of sticking out. Right, next up we got a mer leopard. That's a really nice habitat. Oh yeah, there we go. like the habitat here. 
Because you have three of them are leopards. Next up, we got a jaguar. I love the jaguar's habitat. All sleeping. And these guys closely resemble the Amur leopard. A nice cat nap. But I do like that they move them around in different habitats so it doesn't get boring. Alright, so we go to Buck Base Camp. Alright, so in Buck Base Camp is just a couple places where you can get your photo taken with the animals. Our restroom location is right inside the building at the exit area. Alright, so we continue along the pathway. Oh, where we got a mer tiger. Toys will be toys. Oh, that's a nice habitat. Be one of the tigers. Be relaxing. And tigers do like water. Yeah, one of the big cats that actually do enjoy getting wet. This is area open in 2006. Another view of the Amur Tigers habitat. And this is another view of the Amur Leopard habitat. Yeah, all three of these look very similar. Of course, Snow Leopard has more white fur. But between the Amur Leopard and the Jaguar. Guess we'll see you around.